number of new laws went to effect across the DMV today. This includes efforts to reduce crime and even making sure cash remains an option when checking out. Fox 5's Aisha Khan is in the newsroom to break it all down for us. Good evening, Aisha. Hey there, good evening to you, Sierra. You know, it's a season of change with a bunch of new laws starting today. Now, some of those laws are on guns, child abuse, fentanyl, and sexual assault. Now, starting in Maryland currently, under Maryland law, if your spouse is being prosecuted, you do not have to take the stand under spousal communications privilege. The new law will repeal that defense if your spouse is on trial for rape or any other sexual offense charge. Expungement of records and the waiting periods. Well, this law changes how long an individual must wait before filing a petition to have something expunged from their record. The waiting period for filing a petition is now five years. Now, when it comes to fentanyl, hospitals will begin testing for it as part of urine drug screenings in patients who are suspected of an overdose. If fentanyl is detected in the drug test, it will be reported to the Maryland Department of Health. Now, when it comes to rent increase, a landlord must notify a tenant either in writing or through email and at least 120 days before increasing the tenant's rent by more than 4%. Gender affirming treatment. Now, this law mandates that the Maryland Medical Assistance Program must offer medically necessary gender affirming treatments without discrimination. Firearms restrictions. As of today, people with concealed carry permits in Maryland will be banned from bringing firearms into various public places, including schools and healthcare facilities. And then over in the district, 311 improvements. The city's Department of General Services will be required to make common service requests available to the public and on DC's 311 system, including addressing issues like broken equipment, such as a playground or overflowing trash cans. Also, more money for residents with disabilities. The personal needs allowance for residents who receive support from the city will increase from $100 to $150 monthly. And when it comes to fertility treatment, there will be now funding available to cover infertility diagnosis and up to three cycles of fertility enhancing drugs for Medicaid recipients or other residents using the DC Healthcare Alliance. Also, insurers will be required to cover up to three rounds of IVF for residents. The full bill will be going into effect in 2025. Now, ban on cashless businesses also in DC. Uh, businesses there who, who don't accept cash could face civil penalties. And not many laws kicking into effect in Virginia, except for when it comes to state park accessibility. A two-year pilot program is set to provide all-terrain power wheelchairs to visitors at state parks. The department will select where it will deploy the pilot program and report back on its outcomes to the General Assembly by November 1st, 2025. Sierra.